Halo 5 is coming out tonight, and I'm doing a review on a C-3PO. God. What's going on guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the new LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens C-3PO poly bag that is finally showing up here in the US in Toys R Us stores, and unfortunately I was going to have this review out a lot sooner, as a matter of fact I ordered this from the UK like a month ago and it still has yet to show up, and uh, sure enough of course they hit Toys R Us stores here in the US before it even shows up in the mail, so I end up just running over to my Toys R Us and just sifting through a bunch of the poly bags to get the best I printing and uh, I, I basically ended up here so yeah originally tonight I was supposed to be doing the Halo 5 Guardians showcase but that didn't exactly pan out because of some complications with getting sculpts done and some other stuff but instead we're reviewing 3PO here and uh, without further ado though let's get started all right, so the Force Awakens C-3PO with his dark red arm and everything, this minifigure seriously is the whole package because not only do you get the awesome design, but you really do get a lot of printing on the arms and on the legs. And as you can see, the majority of this is pretty self-explanatory, but man, this is awesome and easily the best C-3PO minifigure that I think we have ever received in a set. And to those of you who get who have gotten uh, C-3PO's in recent years, you would know that the eye printing can sometimes be really, really off. So I would suggest maybe calling your Toys R Us and finding out if they have the C-3PO before you order it somewhere because it's really good to just be able to go uh, look at the poly bag yourself using like the, the uh, back of the uh, the actual package which is clear to see the head and the eye printing because I mean I stood there for a good 10 minutes just sifting through them before I finally found this one and even this one isn't totally perfect so just something to look out for when buying this minifigure because you definitely should because as you can see like I said the print is phenomenal. The first C-3PO where we not only have printing on the legs, but there's printing on the sides of the legs and on the arms. And obviously, again, the dark red arm for the Force Awakens is a bonus. We still have yet to find out uh, how he got the dark red arm, but I mean, the Force Awakens is 30 years later. I'm sure something happened down the road. And apparently that's actually going to be explained in some kind of comic that's coming out soon. I don't know. Um, but regardless, yeah, like I said, the design is just really awesome. As you can see on this side here with this arm, uh, which is actually uh, his right arm the right arm is really nice and I mean there's really not much for me to say about the design other than it's obviously accurate and really really awesome and the dark red arm has a similar detail over here as well and uh, once again any type of arm printing any type of leg printing is just a huge bonus and it really really does top off this minifigure uh, the printing on the side of the uh, leg is also really awesome all the printing on the entirety of this pair of legs is fantastic and all of the individual lines making it look so detailed is really awesome love the use of all this dark brown and uh, it just looks great and there's really not much for me to say other than just for obvious reasons this minifigure is really really well done and I'm so glad LEGO put it in its own poly bag because if this minifigure showed up in one of the Force Awakens sets and that had to mean that maybe the minifigure didn't get this kind of printing then man I would not have been I would not have been okay with that and I'm so glad that LEGO put him in a poly bag if this gave them you know more opportunity to actually make this minifigure look this awesome so I mean uh, here's a quick look at the back of the tour so as well. Pretty basic C-3PO design, but really where this minifigure uh, shines is definitely with the legs and the arm printing. I mean, it's got the uh, eye printing as well, as I mentioned earlier, so I mean, that's a given though. And I mean, this minifigure, this C-3PO is absolutely awesome. You should definitely try to pick it up. It's only four bucks and it is definitely worth that four bucks. This minifigure is awesome. And apparently there's some kind of like uh, promotion going on at Toys R Us where you can get one of these for free. So I mean, that's definitely something else you could also consider if you want to get this minifigure. So I mean, aside from that, that's really all I have to say and man I just wish that like a minifigure of this caliber would have been this year's May the 4th promo rather than that freaking Admiral U Lauren that we got um, but I mean aside from that there's really not much else for me to say so I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna go ahead and wrap up this video why is that arm red what is that I will finish what you started Goodness gracious me. Did you hear that?
All right, guys, and there you go. My rather quick review on what is basically the best version of C-3PO that we have ever had, hands down. It is a fantastic minifigure. Definitely pick one up for yourself at your local Toys R Us. And uh, if you enjoyed the review, though, or maybe found it informative, be sure to let me know by dropping this video a like below and or your opinion on this new C-3PO down in the comments, any of which, either of which really mean a lot. Definitely go a long way, guys. And uh, this could very well be the last time that I post any kind of Force Awakens related video before the movie itself comes out so it's like damn I cannot believe that but I mean if you want to keep up with the hype or at least my hype and everything that I'll be doing to celebrate the movie's launch the 12 minifigure showcase and the process and uh, the, everything that it's going to take to make that and put all that together before the movie comes out definitely check out my Twitter Facebook and Instagram links to all three of those are always down in the description below as well or you can definitely check out my vlog channel where I post much more in-depth and longer videos talking about all that stuff so yeah, um, other things that I'm doing right now, Halo 5 Guardians, like I said, that showcase was supposed to come out today, didn't work out, it'll probably happen within the next week or two, hopefully, um, in the meantime, until things actually start to further develop with that video, I'm gonna be playing Halo 5 Guardians, which is coming out tonight, I midnight, I can't believe it, it's gonna be so awesome, and, uh, what is really awesome, though, was that final trailer for The Force Awakens, oh my god, I can't, I, I have no words, and I, I just, I, I'm gonna go, and I'll see you guys later, alright, bye! getting it here and, uh, and, 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 and what the hell is going on with my camera why is the shot so bright <laughs>